Hi guys, it's Smita. Welcome back. Today's video was much requested. I'm going to be showing you the complete look including hair and makeup of Tripti Dimri from Bulbul. It's a Netflix original and I just started to watch it. So if you've watched it, let me know if you like it. But for now, let's get started with the tutorial and I'm going to start with the hair. She has those beautiful mermaid waves and there's several different ways to do it and I'm going for no heat waves. This is the previous night and that's when I start to prep my hair. There's several different ways to do it, but I'm going to do the braiding style. I've just washed my hair with uh, shampoo and condition my hair and my hair is damp it's not completely wet I've center parted it removed the tangles and now I'm going to section my hair into two parts on each side so there's going to be four sections and with each section I'm going to start braiding my hair I'm going to keep it really loose because I want those loose waves if you keep your braid tighter you get tighter curls so depending on the kind of hairstyle that you're going for you can keep it either loose or tight if you don't want to braid your hair, you can also twist your hair around a ribbon and then tie a rubber band or uh, you can just twist hair together. You can take two sections and twist them together and tie a rubber band. So whatever you prefer and whatever is easy for you, just go for that method. Now I have the four braids, I'm going to sleep with it tonight and after I'm done with the makeup tomorrow, we can reveal the waves and we can set it and we can add more volume and finish up the hairstyle. It's the next morning, as you can see my hair is dry but it looks a little messy but that's okay, we will fix everything at the end. Now let's get done with the makeup part. It's going to be very very simple. She almost has the no makeup makeup look and that's exactly what we'll be going for today. When it's a no makeup makeup look, the focus is always on the skin because you need to make it look good without much makeup. So let's do some good prep work. I'm going to start with the lip balm, this one's from Wet n Wild. And that's going to keep my lips soft and supple and ready for the lipstick that's coming at the very end. For the face, I'm going to be using the Avino Moisturizer. This is something that I use on a daily basis because it's a drugstore moisturizer and it has inbuilt SPF. So you don't need sunscreen separately. But if your moisturizer doesn't have a sunscreen, then you'll have to use a sunscreen over your moisturizer. And once that seeps into my skin, I'm going to be using this Rose Water Mist from Milani. It smells so good and keeps your skin hydrated and also prepped for anything that you'll be applying over it. Most of the products that I'll be using today are from the drugstore. I just want it to be as easy and accessible to most of you. So you can also recreate this look with ease. I'm starting with the Coastal Scents Concealed Palette. I'm going to be using this peach corrector. You can also use orange correctors, whatever you prefer. And I'm going to be using this for spot correction as well as to correct any dark patches or dark circles that I have. I'm just going to be applying and blending it out with my finger. That's the fastest and easiest way because our bodies are so warm and the warmth melts the products. So that helps to blend everything so seamlessly and it looks flawless. As I explained before, I'm going to keep my makeup to the minimum because we want that fresh no makeup makeup look. So I'm not going to be using a foundation. Instead, I'm going to be using a concealer only to spot correct and conceal in areas where we use the orange corrector. But before that, I'm going to be setting this corrector with a loose powder just so it doesn't mix with the concealer and give you that orange tinge. And the powder that I'm using is airspun. All you need is very little. You just need to dust it so the product absorbs the powder and sets. You don't need too much powder. That's when it becomes cakey. And now I'm going to be using the concealer and my favorite one, Milani Concealer in 145. So I'm just uh, dabbing it in areas where I use the orange corrector. And then again, I'm going to blend it out with my finger. And now, as you can see, that has concealed beautifully. My skin looks like one skin tone. Now what we'll do is set our entire face with a little bit more powder. Again, just take very little powder. If you take too much, you're going to make your face look cakey. So I'm going to be using the airspun with a large powder brush. 
and just feather it on my face. You just need a dust just to make everything settle down. You don't need too much. And then I'm going one step further by using the Milani mist one more time over this. That way it's going to melt all the powders that's sitting on the surface and make your skin look like skin. Her brows are pretty filled in, so I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brows from Benefit in the shade 4.5. And I'm going to first start by filling in just the sparse areas and bald spots. And then I'm going to start shaping my brows just like what she has. If you see in the very outer corner, it's higher, it's not dragged down, so I'm going to keep it that way. But I'm most definitely going to fill in my entire brows just like what she has. Her eye makeup is super simple. She has no eyeshadows, but she definitely has a very light liner, almost like a no existent liner at her lash line. I'm not sure even if you can see it in this picture, it's almost non-existent. Now, because my eyes are hooded, if I go for a smudge liner without defining my crease, it's going to look more droopy and hooded. So I decided to skip the step to keep my eyes looking more youthful. But if you have more lit space, I'd say go for it. Use a charcoal color pencil or an eyeshadow and apply it very close to your lash line and smudge it. Instead, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply clear mascara. Doesn't look like she even has any mascara or false lashes. So applying a clear mascara will add volume to your natural lashes, but it looks very natural. It almost looks like the mascara is non-existent. So here you can see the difference between the two eyes. My right eye has the mascara versus my left eye, which doesn't. So it it's barely there but it still gives you something so i love clear mascaras especially when you want to go for that very natural no makeup makeup look also because there's no face sculpting i'm going to skip the bronzers and the blushes and the highlighters and i'm jumping straight to a lipstick that just enhances your natural lip color so this is the jordana easy liner for lips in the shade rose crush it gives you that natural flush of pink, just enough to make your lips pop, but it looks like there's nothing on your lips. That finishes up the makeup, just something very simple and fresh. Now let's move on to the hair. Let's go ahead and remove the rubber bands and release all the braids. As you can see, it gives you those beautiful mermaid waves. All we have to do now is add some volume. So I'm taking my wooden brush and I'm going to lightly brush my hair. I'm also going to enhance and frame the waves in front with my finger. And I'm also going to push my hair upwards just to create that volume. Her bindi looks like it's hand-drawn, it's not a sticker bindi. So I'm going to be using a red lipstick because I don't have a liquid bindi. And I'm just going to place a dot and then use my finger to uh, draw out a nice circle. It doesn't have to be perfect because her bindi looks pretty raw and that's the kind of look that we're going for. And then I'm also going to be using this kumkum powder for Sindoor. I got this off of Amazon. I've linked that in the description box below. I like to wet this powder just a tad bit before I apply it to my hairline. That way it sticks better and it shows more. Her hair looks pretty healthy and shiny. So I decided to use this shine spray from Tresemme. You can also use a hair oil or this step is optional. So you can also skip it. All my jewelry is from Bangalore and some of them are my aunts. She sent it to me for my recordings and I altered the jewelry just a tad bit to match what Bulbul is wearing and here is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you plan to recreate it, please don't forget to tag me. My socials are listed down below in the description box. Please thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and want to watch more. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.